He's up against a king high straight. Phil needs a jack to tie, a spade to make the best hand in order to avoid falling farther behind. Nine of clubs. Notice how Hansen just called on the turn despite having a huge hand. Didn't want to move Phil off his hand. Phil checks. And Gus bets 8,500. Three clubs and four to a straight out there. This should spell the end of the line for Phil Locke. The sick thing is you know I have to call. <clears throat> You're at 8,500 and you know I'm calling. You're like 85% that I'm gonna call. <laughs> Try 0.85%. And Phil folds his hand. If you tell me what you had this hand, I'll tell you what I had the first hand. I would think you'd be more curious about this hand than I would be at your hand. Okay, hey, hey, I mean, I'm allowed to suggest, right? Yep, you are. <laughs> well, perhaps one of the reasons Phil isn't on his A game today is because he misses his co-star. I have a television program with Antonio Esfandiari. The show's called I Bet You. It's just a goofy show where two guys got lucky enough to have a camera follow them around making goofball bets. We actually wrestled the same alligators that the guys from Jackass wrestled. For you people out there that wonder, wouldn't it be great to just get paid to have fun? It, it is. Well, Phil's not having any fun right now as you take a look at those chip stacks. In favor of Gus, almost three and a half to one. Suited ace tray for Phil here. Raise Phil raises to 4,800. Suited queen jack for Hansen. Couple of very playable hands. Gus just calls. And the flop. Oh, it's a big one. Queens for Hansen, two pair for Locke. Gus is checked. Locke bets out 5,300. Yeah, Gus content to check middle pair. Phil doesn't want to try to slow play his aces up. So Gus makes the call. And the turn at 10 of diamonds. Pretty good card for Gus Hansen. He's got a gut shot, straight draw, and a flush draw to go with his queens now. Gus is checked. Phil bets 18,000. In addition to hitting a diamond or a king, Gus could hit a queen here to make the best hand. Gus calls. Big pot brewing on the feature table. Can I bet 7,000 dark? I can do that. And now Gus wants to put Phil all in before the river. And on the turn, it's rule just to And call. Phil gladly calls. Gus says, bet so wait, let's show the these before the we show the river. We should, we can can we do it reverse? Because it makes sense. We, no, no, that's fine. Yeah, the burn yeah, is off. Okay, so let's show now. Bet dark. And Phil called dark. Phil called dark. I have, uh, I don't know. Okay, nine, so there's a lot out. So now I knew it was going to be exciting like that. I could feel it when the ten of diamonds peeled off. I was like... Okay, so now what is it? Any any a queen or a diamond or a king? Any diamond but the ace of diamonds. And the river. Six of hearts. And Phil is alive. Phil is alive. Perhaps this match has turned. Gus Hansen misses on the river, and just like that, Phil Locke doubles up. After faltering early, the Unabomber is within striking distance. Welcome back to Las Vegas, where Leanne Tweeden is in the crowd with a couple of familiar faces. Phil, who are you guys sweating out here today? Well, you know, Mike Madison and I talk a, a lot of poker. He's really one of the only people in the world that I talk strategy with. And he's facing Chris Ferguson now. Chris I faced in the finals, so... Did you give I him had, advice? Yeah, I had some advice for him. I told him that he has to trap Chris. <laughs> limp in, like I limped in with jacks, Chris raised with jack-10. I limped in with ace-three, Chris raised with six-deuce. So I told him he should be trapping Chris. Speaking of limping, are you still reeling from that bad beat? And are you happy that Durr is finally eliminated? I don't have anything against Durr. I think he's probably a nice kid. But, but uh, you know, I mean, he, all the pros are in shock. 
<laughs> All the pros are in shock that he that he put so much money in with tens. It might be more of an online thing. That's all. I mean, I don't have anything against him. Um, I just got a, one last question for you. Have they ever heard of Phil Helmuth in Australia? Oh, yeah. Phil's known all over the world. Even in South Africa, they know Phil Helmuth. He's a legend? Absolutely. <laughs> legend. He's absolutely a legend in his own mind. Friends of his think he's a legend as well. He's a good guy. All right. Thank you, too. I appreciate it. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, a little backpedaling there from Joe. <laughs> Blinds at 1 in 2000 here. Mattisau suited with King Trey. Mattisau taking Phil's advice about limping in on the button. And the flop. Mattisau pairs his king, but Ferguson flops trips. This is going to be troublesome, Matt. Both players have big pieces of this flop. They both check into the turn four of diamonds. And that's going to make things even trickier. Mike's going to have a tough time assuming that Chris has hit this flop. Chris bets 3,000. Mike calls. It's a good discipline call from Mike there. No need to raise and get out of line. River brings a six of spades. Third spade puts the flush on board. I mean, do you really have it every hand? I mean, you've won every hand. You've showed me the nuts every hand. All right, Chris, take it. Wow, Mike Matisau is going to lay down kings and tens here with no kicker. He's basically giving Chris credit for either a ten, a king with a better kicker, or a flush. A great lay down by Matisau. Meanwhile, over at the little Raymer table, blinds are again up to one in 2,000, and the former World Series champ needs to make a move soon. Little suited queen jack is raised to 4,000. Ace nine for Greg. And Raymer makes the call. Raymer is getting a little bit timid here on the short stack. He's wanting to make a hand. Five tray queen, a pair of queens for Little. Well, if Jonathan continues to hit every flop, it's going to be difficult for Greg to dig his way out of this hole. Jonathan bets 5,000. Raymer calls. Well, Greg would love to see an ace here. Instead, it's a seven of diamonds. Greg has checked. Greg's trying to see whether or not Jonathan will check the turn, which is exactly what he's done, and this may tempt Greg to try to pick the pot up here on the end. Seven of hearts on the river. Raymer checks again. And now Little bets 15,000. And I hope that was a good lay down. Raymer folds, and Little takes down another pot. Well, to his credit, Greg gets away from the worst hand. Meanwhile, back to Phil Ivey and J.C. Tran, where J.C. has all but even the match with blinds at 1 and 2,000. Tran with queens, and he has raised to 5,200. Ace, king, big slick for Phil. Well, don't be surprised if all the chips end up in the middle on this hand, Matt. Phil re-raises to 18,000. I raise. Tran will re-raise to 43 now. Ivy is not going to just call here, Matt. He's either going to fold or push it all in. All in. And Phil puts Tran all in. All right, that's all. Quick call from JC. And you see the reaction on Phil's face. He knows once JC calls that quickly, he's up against a pair. Here's the flop. JC, a small favorite going into the flop. And the flop 10 deuce four. Ivy looking to spike an ace or a king now, or he'll be down to 7,000 in chips. And Ivy pairs his king. Doesn't look too proud of it. Now JC Tran down to just two outs to stay alive. I can do it. I got the I got the luck. I got the luck too. I'll tell you that much. I've been known to be a little lucky myself. <laughs> he needs a red queen on the end. Here's the river. The river. Boom. Pairs fours on the board, and that means that Phil Ivey advances. He eliminates J.C. Tran. After three years of futility in this event, Phil Ivey is trying to make up for it here in year four. So we go back to the little Raymer confrontation where Jonathan Little has almost a three-and-a-half to one chip lead. Little has been given Raymer fits all match long. King Trey for Greg. Your, your chips confused me for a second. I didn't see the other one. Oh, Raymer raises to 4,000, and look at what Jonathan Little's sitting on. Bullets. Not likely to relinquish the chip lead anytime soon if he keeps running like this. The flop, five tray deuce, pair of trays for Raymer. And Little's going to check, adding bait to the trap he's set. 
at 4,000.